Joker. Jared Leto is transforming into the character for the highly anticipated Suicide Squad, diving all in, telling ABC's Abby Boudreaux the method behind the Joker's madness and how he nailed that seriously creepy laugh. I can't wait to show you my toys. Folks, the wait is over. Oh, we have got company. Batman's nemesis is back. What? Careful. And who better to reinvent the sociopath than Oscar winner Jared Leto? This character has been written about, acted, interpreted, reinterpreted, reimagined for 75 years. So to be asked to uh, take the baton and run with it was quite an honor and a responsibility. So I dove pretty deep, you could say. How deep? Let's just say there was no clowning around. Leto fully immersed himself as the Joker, committing to never breaking character while on set. When you take on a part like this, you become a detective, a journalist in a way. And I have to say, it was the role of a lifetime. It was the most fun I think I've ever had. And he's yeah. so demented and crazy and complicated. Well, you, yeah, you learn a lot about me. <laughs> learn a lot about you or the character? Well, I, I mean, know. I guess what I think is fun. But yeah, he's a, he's a sick, twisted, uh, but I think very lovable Joker. So lovable that you'll weirdly find yourself rooting for him, even when it gives you chills. Ah, 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 ah. The laugh. You just nailed the laugh. How did you come up with that A lot of experimentation, laugh. a lot of really bad laughs. I remember wandering the streets in New York and in Toronto where we were shooting and I would just laugh out loud and see how people would react to it. When I started to hone in on this laugh, I, I realized it was the one that really, people would turn around and be like, what the hell is that? You were so immersed in the character. How are you able to break from that character and, and actually say goodbye to it after you're done filming? I think you don't really say goodbye. I think that the Joker's in there somewhere. So it I, is? I feel like, yeah. <laughs> now I'm yeah, scared. Yeah, you should be. Uh, I feel like this film is an introduction to the Joker, and I'm hopeful that we will see more to come. For Good what? Morning America, Abby Boudreaux, ABC what? News, Los Angeles. And Suicide Squad hits theaters August 5th, and the entire squad will be right here on GMA Monday.